Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video tutorial. This will be the third installment of the left riverbank horse variation. Now, uh, in this bot, we will be discussing red using the five line cannons to attack. And before I forget, I would like to express my thanks to Master Yen Wenqing and Grandmaster Zhang Chang for allowing me to use their material from their book, uh, Shang Chiuping Opening Tabia, uh, to produce this video. So without further ado, let us begin. Central cannon, screen horse defense, seventh pawn advancement, seventh pawn advancement, and a pawn rank chariot. Now, uh, just for information's sake, at this point, black can also consider playing C D equals to nine for the edge cannon for chariot. Uh, chariot. Uh, exchange variation, which is another complicated uh, opening system, perhaps even more complicated than the riverbank horse variation. And there's also the high cannon, uh, high chariot to protect horse variation, etc. Now, this will be the riverbank horse variation. H8 plus 7 to deny black from playing H6 plus 4. Black would play E3 plus 5. And this would be the topic of discussion. Now, as can be seen, the topic of discussion, 5-9, red will use the 5-9 cannons. Now, for those who are new to Shang-Chi, the 5-9 cannons uh, should be read as the 5-9 cannons and not the 59 cannons, because there are only two cannons on the board. Instead, the numbers would refer to the files of which the cannons are on. Uh, sometimes, players might play a... a mirror image position of this uh, whereby one cannon will be on the first file and it cannot be the uh, fifth file but for notation sake it will still be called the five nine cannons this uh, opening variation became very popular uh, in the 1980s uh, this was in continuation of red's high left cannon variation in the previous spot uh, it is still very popular today and is perhaps the most commonly used variation um, in Xiang Chi when playing this when playing against the riverbank horse variation nowadays. So uh, because Red had played the five nine cannons, Black would now uh, change his uh, uh, his strategy a little bit and play R one equals to two instead of pushing the pawn forward because he would like to prevent or halt the development of red's left flank. That will still continue. And this will be the uh, major position of discussion today. At this point in time, there are three major variations that were discussed. The first of which would be C2 plus 6. The second will be C2 plus 4. And the last will be P7 plus 1. Uh, C2 plus 6 is the first major, first major variation. Now, uh, there's a short discussion of C2 plus 4 and why it would not be feasible because R2 equals to 4 to chase the chariot, a uh, horse away. And because of the positioning of this cannon, once this red riverbank horse was at, uh, the horse was at the riverbank, Red would be prepared to play P7 plus 1 to gain initiative, and Black would have wasted one move trying to move his cannon. And this, the 5-9 cannons, the ninth, the cannon over here would still offer protection for this horse. So, for the time being, Red's uh, plans would have fall, halted, and that is why uh, the authors in the book said that once this position was reached, Red would have an, an unshakable advantage. So that is why C2 plus 4 is not played nowadays. So it, uh, we, shall now, we shall now start to discuss the first variation, C2 plus 6, whereby Black would try to compress the available space for the red chariot to be developed. Now, once this was played, then we'll play p5 plus 1. Now this is a very innovative concept in for attack whereby red will still go for the central file. Now in the past, uh, r2 equals to 4 was occasionally played. Uh, red will threaten the horse, forcing it to capture the pawn. 
but because of the 5.9 cannons the formation over here we will now charge this horse across uh, to the riverbank preparing to capture the central pawn so let's say black counter aggressively with um, C8 plus 4, red will simply capture the pawn and at this point in time red would have 1, 2, 3, 4 pawns versus, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 pawns versus black's 4 pawns but he will have an attack going on the central file and black's uh, material will not be able to do much at it for the time being so this is a very another very complicated position which was not discussed in detail uh, in the book but um, is one it can be usually it can be sometimes seen in actual play also so r2 equals to 4 uh, but in this in the bot in the book uh, p5 plus 1 was suggested now black would now try to dislodge the red chariot and this was the counter that black would play threatening to gain material with uh, R2 equals to 8. Now this is a very agile and tactical com uh, the very agile move because um, by doing so Black will be placed in a dilemma. If he moved the cannon away, Black will play P3 plus 1 and the efforts that have been done earlier will now be uh, negated. So now it would not be a good idea at this point in time to play R2 plus 4 after the pawn had pushed because Red would simply offer would simply trade horses. Let's say Red tried to continue from the central. Now although Red is trying to although Red is trying his best to counter attack but as can be seen, Black's pieces are all over the place, and this will not be a very beneficial situation. Uh, for example, Black would be prepared to play R8 equals to 6 uh, to threaten a smothered cannon checkmate, and there will be many concerns for Red. Uh, Black could also uh, move an advisor and prepare to develop his horse, etc. etc. So this will not be beneficial for red and that is why r2 equals to 4 is not a good idea instead if we were, if we were to compare this position to this position we will find that this is much a much better alternative for red and faced with this issue of the cannon or losing material black would simply choose to um, advance his pawn it would not be a good idea because to retreat the cannon because as mentioned earlier the pawn would be the pawn would be sacrificed black would have wasted two moves let's say black tried to form a blockade black would choose to sacrifice sacrifice his cannon instead now this is a very exciting move now this would also be a pseudo sacrifice because after uh, sacrificing the cannon, the pawn will now charge across the river to fork the two black horses. And let's say black tried to gain a uh, a, uh, a headhunter cannon. Black will counter brilliantly with. By linking his chariots together. Now the cannon cannot capture the chariot because there's no, there is no, uh, there's no, there's no piece to protect this black chariot. So, uh, if h7 plus 5 were played, again, black was red would still play r2 equals to 8, targeting or exploiting the fact that this chariot was hanging. And, uh. Although the black cannons was menacing, uh, for beginners, uh, what black was attempting was that by offering a trade of chariot, he chariots he would be prepared to retreat his cannon and and go for a double cannon's checkmate or something like that. So red would have this move and red would have a significant advantage. So that is why c2 minus two to retreat the cannon would not be a possible option. 
So black would go ahead to try to offer a trade of material, but red would have other th plans in mind. He would continue his attack from the central file. Uh, this this would by sacrificing the pawn, uh, the bl black pawn will now be moved and it will now be very vulnerable for red to play uh, vulnerable to red's h3 plus 5 at this point. Now this is a very complicated situation. Red is preparing the game material over here. So how would black reply? He would try to trade material and again the, the red would uh, still be prepared to gain material. I said black tried to counter aggressively. The horse would just jump across the river. Uh, black would try to form a blockade in this manner. And red will simply target the pawn in this uh, in this fashion. And another move, and this was an intermediate move that will allow black red to continue to make this move. So the pawn would probably have to be moved here, or if it moved to central file, it would be captured by the red horse. So if it returned, red will now command this very important line and be prepared to attack. So, in the process of doing so, Red would have, have increased his initiative and gained the positional advantage. Now, uh, for variation B, uh, variation A was C2 plus 6. For variation B, Red would, uh, plus, sorry, Black would charge the pawn across the river to try to dislodge the Red Chariot. Black, <coughs> Black would counter with R2 equals to 4. And Black could now try to capture material with uh, a ship plus seven, a six plus eight, sorry, followed by a ship plus seven. This the the red horse will be retreated. Black would try to make more advances. Now, uh, one potential one potential threat that black would have would be to go for the elbow horse checkmate. So that, that is why red would try to develop and gain some space. Again, as mentioned earlier in the earlier bots, if black were able to utilize the chariot and cannon, uh, black would have a successful opening. Now faced with this position, there were three sub variations that were discussed. Now, in the main line, R8 plus 6 was suggested. This would apply much pressure on black's right flank. Now, would it be a good idea to play C8 plus 4 at this point in time, attempt, attempting to storm the central file? Answer would be no. Let's say another, another tactical combination with the cannon. Black would simply push C2 plus 6. Now in this uh, in this in this attack, Red would try to attack from the flank by linking his cannons and go going for the going for the check. Black could not bother. And Red would have cleared his central uh, dealt with the issue of his centroid horse. But uh, black would not be prepared to go for the to go for the uh, elbow horse checkmate. Uh, now a third variation, a third sub variation would be h6 plus five. So if h6 plus five were played, uh, red would attempt a skewer or pin in this manner. Trade of material. And after sacrificing material, we can see that there are four major pieces threatening to storm this flank. So, all right, gains material, but uh, faced with this very fearsome attack by black, uh, this will not gaining material might not have been such a good idea after all. So that is why uh, SJ plus six was advocated. C9 plus 4 or H6 plus 5 was not, would not be a good idea. So if H6 plus 6 were played, <coughs> Red would uh, consolidate his defense. Now Red will continue with the 5-9 cannons attack. 
uh, redwood got the riverbank trying to gain material and black would retreat his cannon preparing to traverse it and to trade for material so at this point in time both colors the five uh, reds five tank cannons will be attacking black's right flank and so would black be attacking red's right flank this would be a very complicated situation it would be hard to determine the, the eventual outcome and uh, both colors can be satisfied with this opening uh, opening situation but uh, uh, this remains a very complicated position so so a quick recap today we discussed the we discussed red using the five nine cannons uh, when attacking the relief riverbank horse <coughs> variation and because red was prepared to develop his left flank black would try to halt it halt the development with r1 equals to two but red would still develop his chariot anyway so there were two major variations c2 plus six and p7 plus one uh, as mentioned earlier it would not be a good idea to play c2 plus uh, sorry c2 plus four because black would eventually be able to dislodge the horse and move his horse to the riverbank and in variation a uh, red would gain a nice uh, would have a nice position uh, whereby he, the central file will be his main area of target and uh, although the black cannons look menacing even though black was trying to gain material with c2 equals to 5 to get for a check discover check to capture the chariot black could simply counter with uh, p5 plus uh, c5 plus 3 etc etc still would be very complicated but both colors can be uh, satisfied with this situation in variation b p7 plus 1 uh, black would sacrifice material for uh, would sacrifice material in some of the sub variations uh, if it if red did not ex did not allow that to happen it will result in a situation whereby both colors will be attacking one flank so again this shows the complexity of the left riverbank horse variation uh, if you like the work that I've been doing, uh, please, give, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.